Stephanie from SK Parfait with Single Serving. Tonight we're doing date night homemade pizza and I have, again, Chef Paco here with me. So cheers, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me, Seth. So we're gonna show you another option for a fun date night dinner. So we are gonna have a guest shortly from One Hope Winery to give us a wine pairing, a little seminar training, so what to pair with our pizza. Uh, we're gonna start with first a homemade, um, a homemade um, crust and it's gonna be gluten free too and then a pesto, and then we're gonna do the toppings on top. So, should we get started? Absolutely, okay, show perfect. me what you got here. So again, please like, comment, and share with what you do for your date nights. So we're gonna do a pizza two ways, a vegan slash meat eater, kind of half and half pizza. So um, yeah, let's start. Okay, so we should do the crust first. Sure. So we'll do the bowl here. And again, we're kind of, this is our, our second date night filming. That's right, we did for the first time. Yeah, it turned out really good. Definitely, and I'm doing the big spoon again too. Only big spoon in the kitchen, preferably. <laughs> Little <laughs> spoon, I'm kind of taking I charge. <laughs> I don't mind being those spoon. <laughs> so let's do the dry ingredients first. So this is our gluten-free pizza crust. So we have almond flour here. And then we have the gluten-free flour. So it's kind of a, a mixture of rice flour, other ingredients. Salt and pepper. So, do you want to mix that up? Yeah, for sure. And then we have chia seeds too. So, something a little bit yeah. different. Kind of gives a crunch to the crust. Throw it right so, in. So, yeah, it's pretty good actually. Okay. I've and never then had our. Chia. Yeah, what? I never had chia with the crust. Yeah, something different. So, then we're going to do water and sun dried tomatoes to kind of give it a little flavor. All right, what are you throwing Perfect. in first? So, let's do water. All right. Thank you. <laughs> they need to work. <laughs> so it's kind of fun, interactive. You can cook together. Pretty easy. So we're going to make the pizza crust, pop that in the oven, then we'll do the pesto and the topping. So you're kind of doing it in steps, so it's not too bad. So we're going to do the sundry tomatoes too. Yeah. It's getting a little thicker. I might have yeah. to do it with my hands. You might have to. So we can roll it out. And then we're going to put it on, um, we're going to use this as like a shape. We're going to do like a circle pizza. And then we'll bake it on this tray, transfer it over. All right. It's looking good. Yeah, it is. Do you need a pan, the pizza pan or anything? Uh, yes, we might need a little more flour. So we're just going to like shape it in here and then we'll transfer it to the pan. Oh, so perfect. So we get the shape of the serving right. dish. Yeah. So right. What definitely. do you think? How's it looking? Looks good. You think we might need a little more flour? A little sticky maybe? It's a little sticky. Yeah, we have some flour there on your left. We could some more right. gluten-free flour. Yeah, we would like to hear too, so what do you do for your pizza crust? This is something a little bit different than your standard pizza dough. More of a flat pizza, a little bit crispier, crunchier, so it won't rise too much. But yeah, please comment on what, what you guys like to make, a good crust recipe. This is kind of a new one I've been making lately, with a cheesy good. crunch in it too. I feel like thin crust is becoming more popular a little bit. That's right. So. It's not as filling, so you can get the whole slice. <laughs> Definitely. I think we're good to yeah, shape it. Yeah, I think this it. is better. Okay, perfect. So we'll sprinkle a little bit of flour on here, so we can kind of get, so we can transfer it easily just to get the shape, the circle shape. So I don't know if you can toss this pizza crust, it's a little more dense, <laughs> but yeah. Alright, you ready for this? Perfect, yeah. So we're going to shape it in the circle and then we'll bake it. So just kind of pat it out, so kind of getting your hands dirty here. Yep. Good date night, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a sticky situation. <laughs> hey now. <laughs> Right. Okay, you want to help me pat it out? Some more flour here. Oh, this is like the movies. Yeah, I'm making the oh. <laughs> 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 like, oh, is it my hand? Your hand? Hand check. Hand check. <laughs> yeah, so we're just going to pat it out. Is it going to stick, you think? A little bit. It's a little sticky. We're going to need more flour. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's like scoop it up. Yeah, add more flour underneath just to get the shape. I mean, we could just do it on the pan too, either way. What do you think? We've got to make sure we got the right size here. That's true, the right circle shape, so. Do you think it'll shrink by the time it cooks? No, it'll stay pretty good because it's like pretty, pretty thick, so. Okay. Yeah, add a little more flour in there. There we go. Got a little butter. Okay. Oh, yeah. So we could use the spatula to kind of scoop it Should up. Should we slap this too to make it taste better? Apparently, that's what he did with the pho. You have to slap <laughs> the basil. Is slap that the basil. Slap the pizza. Slap get the all, base. Get that's all the flavors movie. out. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is looking wonderful. Yeah. So what do you guys like to do for date night? Do you do homemade pizza? Things like that where you can work together? Because nobody likes to be just sitting there watching in the kitchen. It's kind of fun to have an interactive. Yeah. Okay, so we've got the circle. So do we need the spatula to transfer maybe? Let's do it. 
Very messy. <laughs> right? I have to wash my hands now. I know. Okay. Is this going to work? I hope so. <laughs> kind of. Okay. So if we flip it half over, then we can transfer it like this. There we go. And then in fours, then you can easily transfer it to the pan. Kind oh, of a little that. trick there. Yeah. So we'll scoop it up. That is a good trick. Oh my gosh. It's so messy. It's kind of fun of it, right? So, okay. We go like this. And then we'll flip it over. There we go. So you have the general shape. Yeah. So then, should we just kind of fix the edges a little bit here? Yeah. Like a circle. So, yeah, then we can. <laughs> Season is fun. Looks good, so yeah. Like working in the kitchen, date <laughs> night. <laughs> okay. All right, so, a fairly good circle. Okay. So, we're going to pop this in the oven for about 10 minutes just to pre cook, and then we can work on the pesto. So. Excellent. I'm pop this in. I'm going to rinse my hands off, too. Very dirty in the kitchen. Oh. <laughs> so I'm gonna move this out of the way. So that's for later. All right. And you want to do the pesto next? Yeah, do the pesto. Spread that on. I'm gonna rinse off this Perfect. dish so it's ready to go and our pizza's done. I'll clean up a little bit here. A little mess here. Yeah, so we're gonna do um, a spinach, pecan, and dairy-free cheese pesto, actually. So, we have a little bit of grapeseed oil, too, we're gonna put in. So we've got the spinach. So we're not doing the traditional pizza sauce, but you definitely could, too. You could just right. buy something pre-canned and put that on, but I'm trying to be a little fancy for date night, so. I'd rather really <laughs> have pesto anyway. So have pecans. Right. And then we have a dairy-free Parmesan cheese we're going to stick in there. So, Great. so kind of add salt. Yes. So we're going to start, and we might add a little bit of oil as we go, too. Let's just add like a quick little drizzle first. Right. Yeah, I think it's good. Wow, it looks awesome. wonderful. Yeah, so we've got the pecan pesto oh, here. Um, yeah, so we're going to chop this up. So we should probably do the tomatoes in thin slices. We're going to put it on the pizza. Uh, we have yeah, some heirloom great. tomatoes here, really pretty color. Perfect. Yeah, I like to try to take the seeds out, too. As much do you as like possible. the seeds out? I do. Am I like the seeds in? Uh, to we me can, it we can leave them in, I guess. It's kind of fun to the interaction of cooking, having wine, taking your time. Mm -hmm. So you're not rushing it together. Awesome. A Pecan, bit uh, spinach pesto with a dairy free parmesan. And again, if you don't have allergies, definitely use the, the yeah, You know, and it doesn't have to be perfect. That's kind of the fun of cooking. So you're just kind of putting it on, and we'll get all the toppings oh, on like too. Like pizza slices or pepperoni slices. Yeah, I'm replacing your pepperoni. Overpowering everything. Yeah. This is good. No, all of them for everybody, but I can eat a whole can personally. Right? <laughs> oh yeah, me too. Even though we already have the pesto, this definitely has a little more flavor. Yeah, definitely, because there's no onion in the pesto, so yeah, a little bit of punch to it. All right, so some mushrooms. Yeah, so some mushrooms. All right. We also have artichoke. Do you do. like artichoke? I do, do you? I do. Yeah, should we put some of them on? Looks like this is mixed with a little bit of oil and everything. Yeah, they're a little bit marinated. Okay, uh, and we can't forget the dairy-free cheese. That's right. So we have like a gorgonzola imitation. It's actually pretty good. You should try a little Ooh. bit. It's like a smoky flavor to it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. So. But before we do that, I gotta add my. Oh, that's right. My man meat. Yeah, you can't forget that. <laughs> and I'll only put it on my half. Be ready for the oven. I think so. Perfect. Okay, it's kind of cool. Careful. It's cool. Good. Got it. <laughs> Biggest spoon taken over. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, yeah, my good. pleasure. That looks amazing. I can't wait to try good. it. Yes. Or do I get a piece? Of course of you do. Course. Yes, we have to taste but it with the wine. The real question is... <laughs> the different want... about One Hope Winery is that we give 50% of our profits to charity. That's great. Oh, so, um, and all of our bottles have a different cause associated with them, which okay. is awesome. So, the Merlot actually... That's the cab. The Merlot is... Um, We've partnered with an organization called N7, and the goal is to end seven global diseases by 2020. Wow. So every bottle actually helps fund medicine for children wow. who have That's really cool. neglected tropical diseases. So wow. you can feel awesome drinking wine and giving so. back. I know, every <laughs> bottle Everybody makes an impact, so wow. it's a That's socially really conscious brand. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, online, awesome. if you go to onehealthwine.com, mm -hmm. that'll give you more information about all the cost partners. But okay. then, what um, is your favorite wine of yeah, One Hope? Of One Hope, my favorite personally is the Pinot Noir. Okay. And that one actually helps um, 
uh, pets and shelters find forever homes through the ASPCA. Oh, okay. So nice. it's Pinot for Paws. It's oh, that's an easy way to remember it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's my oh, favorite. Because right. so we've got the meat, the vegetarian side. So we're just gonna transfer it. Almost perfect. <laughs> Almost. Well, that's part of life, right? Nothing's perfect. <laughs> Right. Again, our gluten-free sun-dried tomato, yes. sun tomato Perfect. and almond flour pizza crust, and we have a spinach, pecan, dairy-free cheese pesto, and then the meat-eating side, we have some heirloom tomatoes, we have some olives, mushrooms, some dairy-free gorgonzola, gorgonzola cheese, um, and some steak. Vegetarian side, minus the steak, also artichokes, too, we added some onions. I think that's everything. We added quite a bit. Right. Okay, let's give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, of do we course. Need, do we need forks, probably? Mm. It still tastes great. That's delicious. That pesto is amazing. Mm -hmm. Again, thank you so much for joining Single Serving. We've made a lovely gluten-free vegan and meat pizza with One Hope Winery. Liz is staying here um, with our Merlot and my date, Paco. So. Thanks so much everybody for joining. Again, please like, comment, and share what you've seen here today, and thank you.